Hey guys, Job here, your local island real estate agent working with Keller Williams Belize and today we are at the Clearwater Belize pre-construction resort located 1.5 miles north of San Pedro. If you're wondering approximately where that is, that is just a little bit after Grand Caribe but right before White Sands Cove. We are here with Dan Schick who will give us a tour of the complex and explain to us the units, the floors, and overall the overview of the entire Clearwater Belize. So Don, thank you for having us today. We have appreciate this opportunity to be able to look at this really wonderful property. Tell us a little bit more about it. Sure. Yeah, it's an exciting project. Um, as he mentioned, we are about one and a half miles north of town. Um, it is a luxury oceanfront development project. Right now, phase one consists of one tower of 12 condos. There's two per floor, and then two beach villas down on the ground level. Um, right now, the fifth and sixth floor are already sold, but we do have the south unit available on the fourth floor, the, the uh, north unit available on the third floor, and then both units on the first and second floor are still available. Um, price range, they range between six seventy-five all the way up to $1,050,000 for the villas. Um, so there's something for kind of every budget. Each floor varies by $25,000. Okay, great. So give us a bit, of a, a bit of a completion date that you, I mean, you guys have went up pretty quickly. I, I see a lot of progress on it, but give us an approximate completion date. Sure. Um, uh, on paper, the anticipated completion date is December 23. We do anticipate it being completed well before that. But in lieu of all the supply chain issues that the whole world is facing, we decided to cushion the, um, the printed date to December of 23. But it's likely to finish more around July. Okay. That makes sense. But there is a nice cushion there for, for people to be right. able to be aware of. All right, that's good. So come in and join us guys as we take a look at this great unit. So we're in the two beachfront ground floor villas here at Clearwater Belize and Dan will be giving us a bit overview on these two gorgeous uh, properties. Yeah, so the beach villas are going to be two bedrooms, two and a half baths, uh, they're 2,375 square feet each. Um, basically you have uh, oversized uh, glass sliders on the front of the unit and then floor to ceiling uh, windows from the oceanfront master bedroom. Um, which is kind of nice. These The villas will come loaded with lots of special features. Um, they're gonna have motori motorized blinds that can come down from the top or up from the bottom. Um, they're also gonna have all the appliances and televisions included with the units. Um, really nice high-end uh, things. As of all the units in the property, they're gonna have teak balcony ceilings, quartz countertops, a four by 10 foot island in the kitchen. So. If you like to entertain it'll be kind of a really nice spot um, so just lots of little special bells and whistles they're gonna have electric fireplaces um, underneath the television in the living room um, rain shower like huge rain showers um, really nice high-end sinks and ceiling fans and things of that nature so they'll be for someone who really wants luxury uh, this will definitely offer that and they are priced at a million fifty all right so let's come take a look at that All right, so at this point, Dan will be giving us a little bit of overview of the amenities of Clearwater Belize Resort. 
All right, so now we're on top of the rooftops of the beach villas. Um, what's kind of nice about this is obviously you have this beautiful view of the reef just dead ahead, but the rooftops are gonna be serving a dual purpose. Um, they're going to offer an eight inch splash pool that is about three quarters of the size of the whole top of the villas. Um, inside the splash pool will have chaise lounges submerged, so it's kind of a sunbathing pool. Um, the water from this pool is gonna actually cascade through the middle and down into the main pool, which is uh, down one floor um, behind this, between the towers and the villas. Um, also on the rooftop, all the way around, we're gonna have frameless glass railings. So there will be an unobstructed view of the ocean. Um, even at eye level, when you're sitting down, you won't have a cap on top, which will be kind of nice. Lots of comfy seating areas. Um, and you may have noticed even like when you were um, when we were first starting the uh, the walk through downstairs the beach maintenance is going to be a really big priority for this particular developer even during construction he's maintaining the beaches and this is nothing like what he's going to be doing once it's actually open for business so they really want everybody who stays here to feel a real luxury experience will the beach front keep be kept as a walk-in beach Yes, okay. um, it's going to be uh, maintained as part of the HOA here, um, so um, that's just a big priority. As we know, we've all been inundated all throughout the Caribbean with the, the seaweed issue, and this, they're going to make sure that this is not a problem for this particular development. All right, and good thing that you just touched on the HOA. How, how is that looking to be? Mm -hmm. Right now, the HOA fees are projected to be $500 per month. Um, and they're going to include all the normal things, you know, that HOAs typically do include, you know, whether it's uh, landscaping, uh, generator maintenance, you know, we, we are going to have an on-site generator as well. So if you have power outages, we'll still have power. We do have an RO system, so the maintenance of that. We have a 50,000 gallon cistern. Um, so yeah, all the basics are going to be included in that. And then once we get the project completed, the next step will be the hotel license. So that people who don't want to actually have a residence here and want to use it for rental income, they'll be able to rent their units to regular tourists. Okay, that's good to know. All right then. All right guys, so now we'll take you guys to the main ground and the main pool to see more about it. All right, so now we're down at ground level between the villas and the tower. And now you can see from this angle where the eight inch splash pool is gonna cascade through the middle there and down into the main pool, which will be a really nice waterfall feature. Um, in addition to that, we're gonna have a separate hot tub here on property. So that'll be a really nice amenity for guests to enjoy as well. All right guys, so we're in the second floor of the tower in the back side of the building where uh, Dan will give us a little explanation of what's going on here. Yeah, so aside from all the noise, <laughs> we do have a couple of neat features in this building. First of all, all the units come with one covered um, parking spot. So we have a garage on the first floor level. It's the entire level and each unit comes with a designated spot which can accommodate two golf carts. Um, you can also build customizable cabinets in there for an additional fee. So if you wanted to have it as a place to lock some small items up, you could certainly do that. Um, in addition to that, um, on each floor you're going to see an area like this. This is where the air conditioning compressors and breaker boxes will be. And then they are going to be protected by giant louvered doors like the one that's down at the end of the hallway, um, which will help to uh, extend the life of those a little bit more so than when they're just sitting outside all the time. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and then we also do have elevator um, access throughout the building. So this is the elevator shaft obviously in the works right now. Um, but that'll be a huge benefit, especially for those on the upper floors when they have <laughs> things to carry back and forth or even just getting up and down the stairs. Um, so those are pretty pretty nice added features, I think. Quick question, Don. You mentioned about the garage that will have space for two golf carts and shelving. Will they all be partitioned off with walls or will it just be a big open area? It's a big open area, but the spots are going around the, the space so that each, there's a wall for most of the, the spots. Okay. And even if not, they can build a freestanding cabinet. Okay, so you, they can build freestanding cabinets for their own garages. Okay, that makes sense. All right then, thanks. <laughs> so we're on the fourth floor currently right now, the only one available, right? Correct. Left currently available on the fourth floor. Remember the fifth and sixth floor are already gone. Um, this one here, both some of the most spectacular views that I've seen 
so far in the island, both from the reef side and the lagoon side, and we'll let you have a look at it. But right now, Don will give us a small overview of the layout of the unit. Sure. So go ahead, Don. Yeah, I'll give you a quick tour. I'm um, keeping in mind we're on the fourth floor unit, but it's really the fifth floor. So you're getting a fifth floor view because that garage is pushing everything up by a floor, which is really nice. Um, so right now, you're looking out your living room door. Um, this will be glass sliders going across the entire front. All of the doors and windows in these units are oversized. They're all going to be nine feet tall with this ultimate ceiling height of nine feet six inches once they kind of install all the air conditioning units and cover everything up. So this is your television wall here. You got living room, giant front porch. Behind that, you have your guest bathroom right here which leads out to one of my favorite features, which is the shower that overlooks the lagoon and the ocean. There will be glass going up the sides. It'll be frosted about two thirds of the way up, but it'll allow a lot of natural light into the shower, which I think is really cool. And this is your guest bathroom. Keep that in mind. So your guests are gonna be spoiled. We basically have two masters on this um, property for all of the units. So here's your guest bedroom. There's a large closet over here. Your bed is here, and then floor to ceiling uh, glass doors again with a private balcony on the back. The balconies on this property will all be those frameless glass railings. So again, you have unobstructed views of the mangroves on that side and the reef on this side. Um, as we walk in this direction, over here in the very back, eventually there will go a, a little wall right there where the cinder block is placed on the floor and that is going to be your laundry and half bath because these are two bedroom, two and a half baths. So your half bath is there and then your kitchen is in this area. It's very spacious. It'll have a 10 by 4 foot um, quartz countertop island um, with built-in sink and all of your appliances and everything will go with these surrounding cabinets. So it's a really nice kitchen. Um, from this angle, there will be an unobstructed view of the ocean. So while you're cooking, you can look out the living room um, sliding glass door. So that'll be just really nice for people who like to spend time in the kitchen. Um, on this side, you have your, your master bathroom, master bedroom, ocean facing, floor to ceiling windows on this side. Um, so again, unobstructed views for both bedrooms and the living room, which is really nice. This is the last unit on the fourth floor. This is the south unit and it's priced at $750. All right, so uh, just quickly to um, just clarify as well, all the units are the same floor plan, right? They are, they're exactly the same floor From plan. From first to all the way to uh, six, right? Yeah, so basically the only difference would be the south unit and the north unit are flip-flops of each other, but they're exactly the same floor plan otherwise. All right. All right, guys, so to just finalize, we're going to go over just the payment schedule, how you do to secure this or any of the units in this complex, uh, future phases of this complex, and just overall a little bit of a background on the developer and the uh, contractor currently building this building. Okay, so um, payment structure is really easy on this one. You won't have any problems remembering it's just 10% down at signing and then the balance is due upon completion. Um, this project happens to be uh, funded by a group of investors. So it's gonna be built no matter what. We don't actually need the purchase to complete it. So just 10% down is all it takes to secure one of these. Um, right now, this is what we call phase one, the tower paired with the two villas. There will be another phase identical to this one. Um, they may change the footprint of the individual condos based on the shape of the property next door. So it could potentially be a three bedroom taking the whole floor instead of two twos, just because it's not as wide of a piece of property. That's being determined right now. Another phase for this development will take place on the lagoon side. We're gonna have um, over 3000 square foot townhomes on the back um, side behind like the parking area. And each of those will be two bedroom, um, two and a half bath, but they'll also have plunge pools, private plunge pools, a private parking spot with the town home. So those will be coming along. I just don't have a start date on them yet. That's all right. <laughs> So tell us a bit more about the developers and the contractors behind the project. Sure, sure. So the de main developer um, behind the project is Tim Jeffers. He's been building on the island for over 30 years now. In fact, he was one of the original developers of Grand Caribe, which is a very well-respected property on the island. 
Um, he also um, is the builder of Coconuts Caribe, which is development going across, up across the street from Grand Caribe. Um, and he also built the Five, which is just uh, north of Grand Caribe. It's a five story home where each floor belongs to a different family. So, and he's done many other projects um, beyond that because obviously he's been doing it a long time, but he's very well respected and trusted and people know that when Tim backs a project, it's gonna get completed. <laughs> That's good to know, especially when it comes to buyers being and wanting some sort of uh, certainty and where the investments is going on. Right. All right, Don, thank you very much for taking your time and showing us this wonderful property. We hope to come back later when there's more updates to show sure. people. And remember guys, if you want any more information on this property, our details will be in the descriptions below. We would love to help you guys own a piece of paradise here in Belize and just give me a reason to work with that as well. <laughs> she seems like she's fantastic to work with and I'll be more than looking forward to doing so.